Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 31st episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Calamity Kimberly. We begin this episode in a place that we've never seen before. Kim's bedroom. She's waking up for the day when she hits her lamp off of her nightstand and then proceeds to fall out of bed. Apparently her hair is tangled too and that's enough to defeat her before she goes to her window to see that it's storming out. Of course, what's a girl to do without an outfit? Hers is burned from the dry cleaners. Then an earthquake happens and she shatters her mirror. Seven years bad luck. Speaking of bad luck, Squat is outside her window. Squat tells Rita on the moon about Kimberly's shit day, and Rita asks Vincer for a monster to get Kimberly. Vincer promises the Samurai Fan Man, and he creates the monster immediately and sends him down to Earth. At school, it's still storming, and Kim shows up soaking wet with a broken umbrella and wet socks. Sucks to suck, Kim. She goes to her locker, and Tommy comes up, and she's like so embarrassed because she's like a mess. Oh, and her pep rally plans are like all muddy. Speaking of disgusting sludge, here comes Bulk and Skull. They just make fun of her for being wet from rain because water is wet, so Bulk ends up with his head inside of a mop bucket. Of course. Tommy offers to walk Kim home after school, and Kim is now even wetter than she was before. After school, she tells Tommy how she's still having a terrible day, and Rita laughs about it on the moon. Kim then trips and lands in Tommy's arms before the samurai fan man appears and releases yellow stuff around the tube. For some reason, it knocks Tommy out, while Kim gets sucked up into the monster's gourd. It's kind of fantastic. We even get to see the inside of the thing where Kim is terrified. At the youth center, Jason, Zach, Trini, and Billy are training when their communicators go off. Zoran lets them know that Kimberly got kidnapped while Tommy just like fell asleep. They go to the command center right away. Tommy's asleep on a couch and Zoran says he'll be fine, don't worry about it. They observe the viewing globe to see that Kimberly is stuck in a gourd while bitching and screaming for Tommy. Zoran says that she's in another dimension. That will only exist for a short period of time before it disappears forever? What? Whatever, it's Morphin time. The four rangers appear and fight Goldar. Where the hell did he come from? Doesn't matter, Jason goes up to the samurai fan man and Zack tells everyone to keep cool when Trini just runs forward and gets punched in the face. Oh, and then they get blown away by the samurai fan man's fan, man. Alpha is confused as to why they suck so much and he teleports them back into the command center. Zoran tells the rangers to use their zords to defeat the monster. Is that like against the rules? Oh well, apparently the Samurai Fan Man is at the Putty Bowl restaurant? What the actual hell is happening? The Rangers show up near the weird ass restaurants. The villains are tossing the jar around with Kimberly inside of it. There's also definitely some type of motorcycles behind them. Samurai Fan Man breaks out a rake because that's apparently Fincer's shtick and he throws pieces of his crown at them. Rita makes him grow for absolutely no reason whatsoever along with Goldar and the Rangers call on their Zords. Does this mean that Kimberly is just like the same size as a human now, or is she like larger? Who cares? The individual Zords fire some things at the monsters, and it's not enough. They need the Dragon Zord, of course. Tommy wakes up at the command center and he morphs right away to call on the Dragon Zord. They form the Dragon Zord in fighting mode while the T Rex Zord tries to help and they fight to save Kimberly, but not before the Samurai Fan Man rips out darts from his crown again. Somehow, from the Samurai Fan Man dropping the jar, it's enough to free Kimberly, who morphs right away and gets the Pterodactyl Zord out and just flies away. They decide to form the Megazord, despite Jason saying that they need to form the Ultra Zord. They fight the two again, and the Megazord gets straight up blown away by the Samurai Fan Man as the Dragon Zord. Now, Titanus shows up, and they form the Mega Dragon Zord before forming the Ultra Zord. Man, they needed to get more creative with these names. Samurai Fan Man's dead, and Goldar just fucks off. At Billy's garage, Trini tells everyone to come over to the TV because the news is talking about the Power Rangers. Kim shows up, and when Kim tries to turn up the volume on the TV, the whole thing just sparks. You owe Billy money for a new TV now, Kim. This episode is actually way better than I remembered, but to be honest, I'm not crazy about Kimberly being a damsel in distress throughout this entire episode. She's been shown to be so capable before, so her getting stuck in this jar slash other dimension for an extended period of time is just kind of weird. Also, why didn't she just morph and like jump out and pop out of the gourd herself anyways? It's just a weird episode. Will next time be any better? Let's be real, probably not. But until then, may the power protect you.